If you are stressed out or are you trying to set the mood for that dude, Roman Chamomile. Hey loves, Alicia here, back on your screen with another one. It's 30 Days of Blind and this is the perfect time to share with you my favorite diffuser blends. Can you tell that I'm obsessed? This is a lot and this is not even half of it. We're gonna go through all my essential oils today, what they smell like and why I love them. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and also let me know down below what your favorite essential oils are. I love this little storage container. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's perfect for my go-to Sage essential oils as well as my room sprays. I have one from Sage that I've had for years. And then this is a room spray from West Elm. That's super pretty. It smells like laundry, really good. Over here is where all the little perfume minis are that I showed you in my perfume collections video. But here is where the feature presentation is today. I should let you know before we get into this that I'm super organized when it comes to everything, including essential oils. Because I'm visually impaired, I can't just grab and go. So I have to know what I'm picking up which is why this is organized in alphabetical order. Crazy, right? I know, the things I gotta do, but since I can't just see that this is Daydream, I wanna know when I'm pulling it, when I'm in the mood for something stimulating that I know what I'm picking. So this first one, as I mentioned, is called Daydream. I don't even know why they called it that because when I think of a Daydream, I think of something light and very flowy. This has a very stimulating vibe to it. It's got the lavender, which is calming. There's also vetiver, vetiver, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that gives it the woodsy undertone. And I wanna say that there's either bergamot or grapefruit. Maybe it's geranium, because it's slightly floral. I don't know, I'm gonna guess, and I'm gonna put what it actually is over here so you know. But this is something that I usually pull out during the afternoon when I just wanna pick me up. Next to it is also refreshing. This one is Escape. Oh, escape is a vacation. There's neroli in there, which always just grounds me out. Vanilla, which is, vanilla is one of the first scents you identify as a baby, or so they say. So it's very calming. Just like a lot of people don't really like yellow because it's one of the first colors we're able to distinguish. A lot of people either love or hate vanilla because we've been introduced to it so early on in life. Depending on what kind of vanilla it is, I tend to like it, but sometimes it's just like, what is this? It smells like a trash bag, you know? But this smells so good. Honestly, this is probably one of my top five. Then over here, if that was E, then this should be P. No, 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 we're on G's, okay. So this one is Goddess. Yep, that's Goddess. There's nothing else in my collection quite like this. Ooh is strong it's definitely florally neroli jasmine rose but i feel like there's something else in there can't quite put my finger on it but this is one that you have to be very careful with they suggest and recommend 10 to 15 drops because these are not as concentrated as some of the other essentials i'll show you in a bit this is one of the few essential oils in my collection that is potent like a few drops and you're good anything more and it's going to actually stink i don't know what it is it could be that it's so florally that when you have too much in the diffuser, it just, no. But be careful with this one. This is a good night and it's a whole vibe. I'm talking, put on a Janaiko album, a candle that's unscented because you don't want it to clash with this and your fairy lights and you're good. It's again, that vet, vetivir or whatever it's called very earthy there's chamomile which is very calming and relaxing and i think there's mm, i want to say sandalwood but i don't want to be wrong i think it's sandalwood i think all i know is it's very calming this one is another of my top fives not only do i love the way it smells i love the name it's present moment it's got sandalwood vetiver no surprise those two have been showing up a lot in this video and I wanna say neroli, but I don't think it's that. I think it's something brighter than that. It's definitely a citrus. And since Sage usually uses grapefruit in their blends, I'm gonna guess it's that. Oh, this is one of the lighter ones that yes, you should smell the cap, but you get a very strong woof from the bottle. Woof, that hits you. You are S, ritual, it should be ritual, okay. Do you do that too? Sometimes when you're looking for something and it's alphabetical order, you have to go through the alphabet. Anytime that I'm just like, I need to decompress, this is what I reach for. 
it has like this tangy scent. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's vanilla in there, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. What I do know is the ginger is everything. I've never had a ginger infused essential oil before, and I love ginger. It's one of my favorite things to cook with, to eat, to drink, everything. Like, I feel like I need coffee beans to clean out my nose palate. This one should be sunset. Ooh, that's different. Okay. Sunset, for some reason, gives me grapefruit and just grapefruit. But I, I want to say that there's neroli in there too, but I could be completely wrong. It might be rose, but there's definitely a floral undertone there. But if you want something that's bright, they have one that's called Liquid Sunshine that I know a lot of people love. I don't like that because it smells like Mr. Clean. And if I want my house to smell like Mr. Clean, then I'll do a Mr. Clean, clean. But if I want it to smell like something that's a little more... Oh luxurious then i'll put on an essential oil she got four big bottles got four big bottles okay these are the ones that i'm so obsessed about that i had to buy big bottles so i've bought all of these in small bottles before and then i was like no no, no. i need to get the big dutty bottle this one oh my god why did i pull it like that i need my phone because now they're not in order negatron time this one is Spa. Okay, we'll do spa spirit first. This is one of the first ones I ever got and then I purchased this big bottle and I think this is my third large bottle. Utility size. Spa spirit is what I envision a yoga spa or yoga studio that overlooks a cliff to smell like. Why do I have to paint such a specific picture? But it's just the vibe, okay? Any spa should have this in their diffuser in their reception area. It is a spa vibe. Vibe is going to be overused in this video, by the way. See what I mean, guys? Look how long it takes for me to have to zoom in. I Sometimes I get so frustrated, I don't want to use the diffuser anymore. This one is Unwind. It's also an oldie but a goodie that I've had for such a long time. Oh, you don't even know. This brings back memories from the first year I used it. It's very, very grounding. If you do feel stressed, put this on and just watch the vapors come out of your diffuser and you will definitely reset. You'll feel so much more calm. I love smelling this one when I'm doing a yoga sash. It's giving me lavender, but there's also a citrus note in there that I want to say is bergamot. Because it's not as bright as the other one, so I won't say it's grapefruit. I almost want to say orange, but I don't think they use orange in their diffuser blends. And bergamot's very similar, like clementine. Rainforest, okay. Rainforest, if I remember right, it smells like, it's very similar to after the rain, but the difference is this one has eucalyptus. And anything else I can't smell, literally it's just eucalyptus until you put it in the water. Then it gets more complex. I only ever use this one when I'm congested. If you have this in your diffusers, and sometimes I put them in both, Whatever you have on your chest, it's like a Caribbean remedy. It's gonna come right off. This one is, oh, I haven't smelt this one in so long. I'm not gonna really, oh my gosh. I wanna say it smells like star anise, which is weird because I hate star anise. You know that licorice scent? Black licorice, but that's what it's giving me. It's the mystery for me. Now that we finished all of these ones over here, it's on to this set that was gifted to me last Christmas. I haven't got to use it as much as I'd like to since I have so many other ones I wanna go through and I don't wanna buy a new essential oil until I make space for it here. So I've been using these ones as I've felt in the mood for it. This one is yoga and it smells exactly like what you would think it would. It's very grounding, it's very good for a yoga session. I don't usually put this in when I'm doing yoga, to be honest, I usually put this in when I'm having a stressful day at work and I'm just not bad about it. Next to it is Goddess. So this is basically a mini of the other one I showed you. I haven't even opened it. You hear that crack? Oh, so good though. So good. Here is, if that was Goddess, this should be Balance. Yes, this is Balance. And it's very, very faint. I can't put my finger on it. It's light, but it's got depth to it. That's all I could say. Oh, this is the only one that I'm not sure about. And just like Goddess, if you put more, then it's going to end up stinking your house. This is bliss. And it's not very blissful. I can't even lie. But 
if you put in one or two drops instead of the recommended 10 to 12, it's very faint and it's not offensive. So give it a try. Last set are all my other essential oils. So these are different brands. I think I have a few sage in here that don't fit any in there. So let's do those first. So this one is, good gosh, I don't remember. I can't tell from here. Why does it smell like it went bad? Oh, yes, 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 that's why. Okay, Tranquility. <sighs> Tranquility. Something about this one I have a love-hate relationship with. I have to be in the mood for it. I don't know if you've had a scent like this before, but I don't know what it is about it. I don't even know what exactly in it is causing this. I wanna say it's fur, balsam for, fur, but I don't think there's any fur or pine in there. First of all, it smells 10,000 times better diluted in water. So even the cap is too strong. But secondly, the first time I tried this years ago, I hated it. Then late last year, I smelt this in store and I'm like, what is that? And they said tranquility. And I'm like, no, there's no way that this OG one smells that good today. So I grabbed it and I have to be in the mood. Oh, okay. So there's no more sage. Let's do Muji because Muji has some amazing essential oils. They do blends as well as single notes. This is geranium, which is just geranium. It's so strong. Whereas you need 10 drops for those ones, two drops is sometimes too much. Sometimes all you need is one drop and you're gonna smell this into the hallway. This one I think is sky. And if I remember right, sky is lavender and shucks. I don't know what that second scent is. It's really, really airy. Ocean has this very like zesty scent to it. There's definitely lemon in there, but there's something in there that kind of gives it a sweetness to it too. I've bought this one four times. It's Yuzo, which is a Japanese citrus fruit. So if you like lemon, but you don't like lemon that smells like clean and just fresh and very flat, if you want something that has more dimension to it, try this. It's also really good for mixing. I'm so sad that Afrofest was canceled last year and probably this year, because each year I would go and get an essential oil from a black golden business. This one is called Tranquility, and it is, out of everything I have, the most calming scent of life. There's some kind of vanilla in there with, I don't know what, but this is a game changer. I will link, if, it, if you can even buy it online, I will link it somewhere because you need to smell it. It's the best out of everything I've showed you. That's why I'm savoring it. This one is very strong. Just like I said with the other one, two drops is too much. Two drops is way too much with this. I do one drop and I'm just like, Ooh, step back. The smell is explosive. And this one is a Tahitian Jasmine. Sounds fancy, huh? Wrap up with these four. These are just single note ones from the health food store. This one is everything. This is bergamot, it's so good. It's a citrus note, like I said earlier. Beside it is clary sage, which I can't really describe with words. You just have to smell it and know. I like to mix bergamot and clary sage together, which is why I got these on the same day. They're very strong though, so you have to be prepared. Okay. If you are stressed out or you're trying to set the mood for that dude, Roman Chamomile, anytime I ever had this smell, oh my gosh, compliments on compliments on compliments. People are gonna know that your house is warm and inviting and you can even feel inspired. Whether you're trying to journal or reflect or get creative, Roman Chamomile just grounds you and gets your mind clear, I love it. Last and possibly if I had to choose one scent that I had to smell for the rest of my life, sandalwood. Something about sandalwood, it's just got so much depth and dimension to it while still being simple. It's one of those scents where you can never get bored of it. It adds an earthy tone to the brighter notes. Why am I sounding like a scent connoisseur? Like it's not that serious, but I love sandalwood. It is one of my favorite single notes. It's gotten more expensive over the years, which is why I'm grateful that that is so potent that I don't have to buy more. Those are all of my essential oils. So whenever you see me popping them into my diffuser during the vlogs, now you know what kind of vibe I'm going for or what kind of day I had. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite essential oils are down below or which one you wanna try based on my descriptions today. If you haven't already, thumbs up, share, and subscribe. All that stuff to show that you care. We're on the road to 20K by May, so make sure that you hit 
that subscribe button. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.